Hi everyone, Trickisty here, and today I'll do my first AutoIt tutorial. Uh, I'm going to show you how to create your own login menu. So for this, you want to open Coda Form Designer. Uh, it's a free program you can download. And yeah, it's really easy to use. So what you want to do with this window is just drag it to the size you'd like it. Uh, let's have it like go ahead like that. I'm gonna put a button. Let's make a big button. Okay, let's not do that. Let's just make a simple button. Like that if you go here to this run preview you'll see this is how it's gonna look like yeah that's good enough okay so this button the caption that's inside we're gonna do start the name will be run later in the script uh, it's very important to label everything or else you get confused so as a font oh slow today there we go Corbell old 12 that, that looks good Okay, so what you want to do now is hit the button here and it will give you the codes. Copy that. And I guess you can just close that. You don't have to save it or whatever. Okay, so you just paste it and auto it. Now, next step, you want to create a new case. Let's go ahead and do that. Case dollar run. Okay, so now we want to make a new variable. For this, uh, we just put dollar dollar. Um, let's just call it PV equals input box in brackets and it'll, sh it'll show you everything you need to type in so first of all the title um, password okay the prompt will be type 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 in type in password whatever okay next do that and do that now when you type it in do you want the password to be shown while the typing it or be shown in uh, characters like like that that's what I mostly use Oh, whoops. Okay, there's something. There we go. Next, the size. Um, 230, 120. Yeah. Close the brackets. So now, if we hit. Whoops. I actually have as a hotkey F5 to stop the recording so I accidentally stopped it but F5 here also means go so I'll just have to do it manually so if we hit go start button will come up I have no clue what I just did and yeah let's just try that again go we hit start and the box will pop up password type in your password now, none of these buttons will do anything. Yeah. So, next thing is 
uh, see if pv equal with the password one two three four then let's make a message box uh, the flag uh, title correct pv text uh, this is the correct pv yeah and that's it put a sleep and save now if we go ahead and run it yes I forgot to put something end it and again I accidentally hit F5 sorry okay so I had to put the end if now if we go to go hit start type in the password one two three four show up in these dotty thingy whatever you call them if you hit ok pa uh, correct password this is the correct password ok done but what if someone types in the wrong password the program will just close now to make it look better or I don't know it will just stop working and done so what you want to do is put a else statement else um, message box 16 title wrong PV um, is incorrect done sleep and then exit we go ahead and run that start type in the password let's do something else uh... four three two one this password is incorrect and it will close type in the right password one two three four this password is correct or this is the correct password you hit ok and then you can just put the rest of your code there so yeah simple hope you liked it comment rate subscribe check out my facebook page and more auto it tutorials will come out soon